So in this lesson, I'll be showing you how to do the multiplication of complex numbers using the FX991 ES plus calculator. But before then, I'll be trying to solve this, all right? I'll solve this first. And after the solution, I will now cross check my answer using the calculator and we'll confirm if we have the same results, okay? All right, guys, so how do we solve this? Your first task is this. Let's say I have a complex number as minus three plus two i multiplying another complex number four plus i. Now, how do you multiply these two complex numbers? Now, so this is equal to, I can still rewrite this as me saying minus three plus two i this into four plus four plus i. I have this. Now, in solving this, um, this is equal to now in in expanding this bracket i'll take the first term here minus three and multiply everything in the second bracket which is four plus i i'll take the second term plus two i and multiply everything in the second bracket four plus i so the concept is always use each of the terms in the first bracket multiply everything in the second bracket and that'll be equal to minus three times four gives you minus 12 minus three times plus i gives you minus three i plus two i times four so two times four gives you eight so it becomes plus eight i next up i have plus plus that gives you plus i have two i times i that gives you two i times i is i squared so i have this so plus two i squared all right, let's proceed to solve this. Now, in solving this, your first key term to notice that i squared, the value, the value of i squared, this is equal to minus one. All right, I explained this in our previous lesson where I discussed complex number. All right, and I explained why the value of minus, the value of i squared is equal to minus one. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So check video description. You see a link to a class on complex number and you see why the value of i squared is minus one. So let's substitute. This is equal to, I have minus 12. So I have minus 12. I have minus 3i. So minus 3i. You have plus 8i. So plus 8i. Plus, so you have plus 2. You have 2. We said i squared is simply equal to what there? Minus 1. So I have minus 1 as the value of i squared. Now, continuing with this, this is equal to, I have minus 12. Then this one here, minus 3i, then this one here, plus 8i, plus times minus is minus, 2 times 1 is 2, so I have minus 2. Let's take like times, this is equal to minus 12 and minus 2, so I have minus 12, minus 2, then minus 3i plus 8i, minus 3i plus 8i. Um, working with this, this is equal to, sorry, minus 12 plus, minus 12 minus 2, please. Um, minus 12 minus 2, then I have minus 3i, minus 3i, then plus 8i, plus 8i. This is equal to minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14, so I have minus 14, um, minus eight, minus three i plus eight, minus three plus eight is plus five. So I have 14, minus 14 plus five i. So that's my answer. Let's go check this using the castle calculator and see if we'll have the same answer, okay? So we'll try to solve this using the castle calculator and see if we have the same answer, okay? Uh, let me get my calculator. Now in, Getting the same answer or multiplying this with, with um, a calculator, our first task is to put this in the complex number mode. And how do you do that? Do you do that? Come to the right section, all right, where you have the mode here. Press mode. You can see this. So when you press mode, you see com complex. Number two is complex. So see MPLX means complex. I'll press two. And immediately you can see that CMPLX appears at the top there. So it means complex number is now at the top. All right, let's type in our values. So I'll open a bracket. So with this open a bracket, I'll type in minus three. So minus three, then press the plus key, plus then two, plus two. To get I, look at ENG. 
So when you press ENG, this key here, ENG, that's at the last row, the last row of the black keys, the last row of the black keys, this one here. If you press this, you have the I, it shows there, close the brackets. Then you press times, so times. Now open a new bracket. When you press it times, open a new bracket. So I'll open a new bracket. Type in your next terms, four plus I. So I'll press plus four, then come to plus. You press plus, so plus, then you press the I there. The I, press ENG, this I appears. Close the bracket, so you have this. All right, so this was the question. We'll just press equal to, go through to this, so equal to. If I press equal to, you can see my answer here is minus 14 plus 5I, the exact same thing I had when I did my solving. So it proves that your solving is correct. All right, so you can see this is how we do multiplication of complex numbers using your Casio calculator, okay? We'll take one more example of this and then that's all for the class. Let's take one more example on the multiplication of terms of complex number and how to solve that using and how to solve that using your calculator okay all right so i'm going to share my board again let me share my board all right so i'm sharing my board again um let's now take this example let's say we have something that looks like one over two one over two plus 3 over 4i, 3 over 4i, this multiplying, so this is multiplying stuff that looks like 6 minus i over 5, okay? So we have this question here, a very interesting question. How do we solve this question? Our first tax here would now be to, um, as usual, I would say this is equal to, I'll take the first term, 1 over 2, I'll multiply everything in the second bracket. That's six minus. Now, note that, let me show you something. If I have i over five, this is simply equal to one over five times i. It's the same thing, all right? So one times i gives you i. That's how you, that's how you get i over five. So in essence, we can write uh, this into one over five times i. That's the first thing there. My second term is plus, so plus 3 over 4i, that's this, into all the terms in the second bracket, that's this, 6 minus 1 over 5 into i. So we have this. All right, so we have these two terms here. Let's solve this. This will be equal to, let's expand this. That becomes half times 6, that's 1 over 2 times 6, which gives you 3 minus the sign here is minus one times one gives you one all over two times five gives you ten then bring back the i plus proceeding here this becomes three times six is eighteen so i'm having eighteen all over i have four bring down this i here that's i then again plus times minus, plus times minus gives you minus, three times one, three times one gives you three, all over, four times five, four times five gives you 20, right, I have 20 there, into, I now have this i here, so i times i, that gives you i squared, all right, so I have this as i squared, all right, so we have this, this one here, let's proceed, this is equal to three, um, that gives you minus 1 over 10i plus, breaking this down to its lowest term, 18 divided by 2 gives you 9. 4 divided by 2 gives you 2. That's 9 over 2i, okay? Minus, so minus, this is 3 over 20. 3 all over 20 into i squared, all right? i squared is equal to what there? Minus 1. That's the value of i squared. Okay, so please note that i squared is equal to minus one. Um, I'll leave a link to, okay, just as we said in our first example, right? So just as we said in our first example, i squared equal to minus one. So I have minus one here. Uh, let's proceed with this. So this is now equal to, I have this as three. Um, for this, right, you have this as minus 10i plus nine over two i. All right, um, okay, before then, 
let me simplify this. Minus one over 10 I plus nine over two I into minus minus is plus. So plus three over 20 times one gives you three all over 20. So we have this. All right, this is equal to, I have this as three. So it becomes this one here, three plus, you can see this as three over 20. So three all over 20. Let's take the i's. You have this one here, minus one over 10 i. And then this one here, plus nine all over two i. So you have this. All right, so we have these two things here. Um, how do we solve this? First things first, we'll solve these two first. All right. And how do we solve this two? For this two here, we'd have to, all right, for this two, let's take the LCM. That's equal to the LCM of the denominator here is one. Okay. So the LCM of 20 and one obviously is 20. All right. So 20 divided by one is 20. 20 times three is um, 60. So it becomes 60. The sign here is plus, so I'm having plus 20 here divided by this 20. So 20 over 20 gives me one. One times the numerator, numerator here is three. One times three is three. So I have this, this one here. Next up, let's come to the i's part. Now for the i, I have my, my denominators here as 10 and two. So if I take 10 and two, uh, for 10 and two there, the LCM obviously is 10. So 10 divided by 10 gives you one, one times this one here, one times minus one gives you minus one. That's this minus and one. Then next up, let me come to this other term here, which is the nine over two. 10 divided by two gives you five, five times plus nine. Five times plus nine gives you plus 45. You have this, all right? So then bring down the I, so it becomes I here, okay? So this is now equal to, 60 plus 3 gives you 63 all over 20 into um, minus 1 plus 45 gives you plus 44. So I'm having plus 44 all over 10. Of course, bring down the i. If you look at the imaginary part, that's this one here, it can be broken down to its lowest term because 2 can divide 44 to give you 22. And two can divide 10 to give you what there? Five. All right, so if I do this, my answer will be equal to 63, 63 all over 20, plus you now have 22, 22 all over five, then what there? I, so you have this. So that's your answer, okay? Let's proceed to solve this using the calculator and see if we'd have the same answer, okay? We'll solve this in the calculator and see if we'll have the same answer, all right? All right, so you can see the calculator here. Now in complex mode, of course, this. Um, first things first, we want to type a fraction. So I'll open my brackets, so open the brackets. Now to get a fraction that's having numerator and denominator, you press this key, look at this key here, by your left hand, this one here, I'm hovering over the key. You press this, it gives you a box divided by a box. Let's type in the fraction there. That was one, so I'll press one. I'll press down, All right? So press the down key, this one here. Press the down key. If I press the down key here, you can see it comes down and then two. So I'll press two here. You can see I have this one here. Next up, you press the right key, like the one going to the right, All right? So right key, it comes this way. We want to get plus, so it becomes plus. Next up, um, let's create another um, set of fraction. So I have this one here. Next up, we want to have three over four. I'll press three, this. I'll press down, so it comes down. You type in four. So I now have three over four. We want to get I. To get the value of, to get I on the calculator, you press the ENG key, this key here. Right, the last row of the dark keys, you see ENG. Press that key, you have I. So with this, we now have one over two plus three over four I. We'll close the brackets. So close the brackets. Now times, so press the times key, open the brackets. I'll open these brackets here. So press six, it becomes six, then minus. 
So minus, open a bracket there. I'll open these brackets and I now have I over five. So you can choose to type I, like let me put the I up, I, okay. Press down, so it comes to the denominator, you press five, so you now have I over five. Or you can simply type one over five, then I, you have the same answer. When you're done, press equals. If I press equal to there, you can see that my answer is exactly the same thing I solved. That's 20, 63 over 20 plus 22 over 5i. So that's how you solve this, okay? So this is how we solve this question, all right? All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. All right, so like this video. It helps us uh, to grow. Don't forget to also leave a comment, all right? If you enjoyed this video, tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're yet to subscribe, do want to subscribe to this channel as well as hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we open new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn, all right? To your friends, to your classmates, share this video to your classmates so they can also learn. Don't forget that you can get access to my courses on my website. Simply visit www.journalimani.com forward slash courses and it gives you access to you can see the different courses on my website you can also get my books from my website visit www.journalimmanuel.com forward slash books and you can see the books on my website also you can join my channel membership all right to so join my channel membership to get access to exclusive content i'll leave a link to channel membership in the video description thank you and see you in our next class